So thank you again for tuning in today. I'm inspired Grisel and on here we inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were created to be, that God is calling out to be. You get content on love, relationship, worship, truly inspiring content on here. And so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. You will truly, truly be blessed on here. All right. And on today's episode on Word Mars, we are just here to encourage. Okay. I'm here again to encourage you. And from the word of God, you know, so many people are taking a stock of the year so far and and planning towards the new year making you know adjustments to one or two things here and there career wise finances business health here and there but i want you to take count by seeing what god has done because god has done so much i know that maybe you haven't ticked everything on your list but god has done so much and one of the areas i want to thank god it's going to come from psalms 124 verses 1 and you could read down. It says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Has God been on your side? Now, throughout this year, even today, I've seen him being on my side. He says, if it had not been, you know, you need to come to that if state. Are you in the if state? Because I know maybe every other thing has not been taken, but can you really see what God has done? It says, if it had not been for the Lord, I always say that we only know in part. You might not have gotten that job, but God has seen way down the line to see that if you had it, even in a few months, you would have lost it or there would have been some trouble or this or this or that. We only know in part. That is why we need to have an attitude of being thankful and being grateful for everything he's done and everything we have right now. The reason why it's not worse than it is or it is the way it is is because God has been there. It says, if he had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say, so put your name right there. So Grisel, I'm saying, if it had not been, and this is what God did, if he had not been, he says, if he had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. <laughs> now, when men rose up against us, it's not just talking about physical people. Yeah, I know maybe there are situations where physical people rose up against you. I said this was going to be a real conspiracy. And yes, there's been lots of conspiracies. It says when men rose up against us, if God was not to defend us, to vindicate us, it would have been a done deal. There are people that have gone to jail just because of a gang up and they are still there. But it takes God to arise. And now we see that happen to Joseph. Joseph was in jail for what he did not do. But if he had not been the Lord who was on his side, he wouldn't have been able to come out. But God brought him out. He says, when men rose up against us, he says, then they would have swallowed us alive. <laughs> there are people that really don't want you to be alive. They are laughing with you, but they don't want you to be alive. They are forces of darkness that do not want us to be alive. They want to twat every plan God has for us. It says, when their wrath was kindled against us, there was so much going on. Please read Psalms 24, 124. It's going to make you see the victories that God has brought you through up to this point. The Bible says, we slept, we are woke because God sustained us. It's not by alarm clock. It's not by, you know, no. It's not because you're the most beautiful or the most handsome, like my husband used to say, no. If it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been, I want you to think about Everything you say you've been true. If God wasn't in it, how would he have looked? If God was not in it. If God was not in it. He says, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. There are things that just came upon us like a flood. He says, the waters would have overwhelmed us. The streams would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. He says, blessed be the Lord. Hi. My God, this sounds is just powerful. He says, blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. I've seen some battles this year, but I've seen some great victories. And through it all, all I could see is God. There were times where I wanted to be agitated and all of that. But I say, you know what, God, if you are not involved, there's really nothing I can do. If it had not been God. 
I just want to leave you with this encouragement. Or maybe you know somebody that is maybe going through a depressive state and just thinking that God has not been good to them or their life has not been perfect. Ask them, if it had not been God, how would it have been? How would it look right now? So as you go about the festivities, remember what God has done and what God is still doing. You need to know what is going on in the background and this program, even in this season, each and every day. The Bible says the arrows that fly by day, you don't see them, but they are flying. So it's God keeping us. If it had not been, take some time, take stop. If it had not been that day when you didn't have money to, to pay rent or even money to eat, but yet provision came, if it had not been the Lord, hallelujah. That is my encouragement for you today. Take a stock and see what God has done. All right. Until next time, do me well to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this out to someone that you know is going to bless them. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey. God is for us, is for us, is for you and I. And he remains on our side. If we don't change, come. God is for you. Until next time, bye for now and God bless you.